Hello and welcome back to another unboxing with new labels only. Today we have another watch brand and today's watch brand is Vario. So Vario is a watch brand from Singapore. We have done a full blog review of this watch and also about the brand on our website. The link is in the description. So do have a read whenever you have time. So this is the packaging the watch came in. So inside we have the Vario Empire black chronograph dress watch. And this is the packaging. We also got this from in the box, and it is the warranty card. So let's see the watch inside. So this casing is very different to your normal casing, usually a big square box or rectangular box. This one is a travel pouch, so it's actually pretty easy to put in your bag. Or if you're traveling, you know, just put in your jacket or something. Very easy. So let's see the watch inside. So you have this protector here, it's actually very durable so I'm putting a lot of pressure on the case and it's not breaking down or you know pushing down or anything else. Solid, good watch, good watch case. So they also have, I am pretty sure they do sell this on their website as well so do have a look. It does look pretty neat. And this is the watch, let me remove the packaging, all this stuff. And then you have your lens cleanser. Uh, let's hope it's signed. Of course it is signed with Vario. Pretty awesome. And this is the watch. So let me remove the plastic. And this is the dress watch. Again, this is a Empire Black Chronograph dress watch with the Onyx strap. It does look good. Let me show you the side. Let me bring the light on it. There we go. The lug. The strap. Let me show you the inside of the strap. For you here. The holes. The back of the watch it looks like it's been embossed or engraved it does look good and you have your confirmation that this strap is made from genuine Italian leather and the buckle is also signed with Vario so let's talk about this watch so this watch is 38 millimeter by 11 and a half millimeter in size. In terms of lug to lug, we're looking at 46 millimeter. And inside, in terms of what's powering this watch, we have a Seiko VK64 Mecha Quartz. They do have the automatic version of this watch, but this one is the Mecha Quartz movement. Uh, it is a very reasonable inter in terms of the movement. It's very reasonable. Uh, you're looking at a time accuracy of probably 10 plus 10 plus minus 10 uh, second a month which is very decent and these movements are pretty standard in startup watches and startup brands so for example we've seen this movement in uh, Aviates, in Spinnaker watches and also other watches we have reviewed in the past. So this watch does come with removal strap so you have the pin here so just if you don't if you don't like the color of the strap you can always change it and that is one of the reason that Vario has to switch that the strap are easily removable so if you don't like the onyx uh, strap the onyx black strap you can always change it for another color and they do sell the straps separately as well so this is the watch it does look good in terms of dress watch it looks very good you don't want your dress watch to be so big that it overpowers your tuxedo or your suit but this one fits well, looks great, and let me show you the dial even closer. Let me move the hand so you can see it. So inside you can see, so you have two, I guess two kind of index. So you have the outer index and the inner index with the numbers. And you have two sub dial, the second and the hour, and sorry, the minute and the hour. Uh, this is the chronograph in 
work in order. Uh, the buttons are very sharp and crisp. There's no lag, so if I press it, it will stop pretty quickly. And on time, no lag, no problem at all. And if I'm gonna reset it, bam, pretty easy and easy standard. One thing we do like about this, the DAO is the inside of the DAO, so underneath the Vario, you have a texture on the DAO. It looks very maths, there's a maths, uh, uh, there's a mass, it looks like a mass pattern, I'm not sure the exact name of it, but we'll, hopefully I'll try to research the name of this pattern and put it in the blog, but it's very mathematic in terms of the design. Uh, I think this, if you like to put a circle and connect lines to lines to lines, it looks like this, but otherwise this dial looks amazing. But let's see how does the watch looks on the wrist. So this is the watch on the wrist very comfortable as you can see I am not using the last hole and as you know probably by now I do have a small wrist and I'm using the third to last hole so if you have a wrist smaller than mine you will this watch will suit you fine more than fine one thing you also like about the strap is very thin so it doesn't again it doesn't get too much in the way and it suits the face of the watch and the casing of the watch so it's only 38 millimeter and this strap is only 20 millimeter in terms of width from here to here so Again, it's not going to be too big, and it does look good on the wrist in terms of moving my wrist. That's fine. The buttons and the crown is not getting in my way. One thing we do like with the crown is that it's, the design is very nice and neat. A very round kind of design has been given to the crown, and it just looks so good on the wrist. To be honest, again, this is a tuxedo watch, and it's supposed to look classy. It's supposed to look, I guess, the best when you're wearing a tuxedo or a suit. And this watch will look good on any any smart dressing device. In terms of the width, it does not stick out too much. The lug is curved, so you will press the casing down. You can see there's a couple of levels here. So you have this level, and also the the glass has been raised up. Hopefully the camera's picking this up. Oops, let me just put this up here. Hopefully the camera's picking it up. So, uh, there we go. So you have the casing here, and then you have the lens here so the lens has been raised a bit and it does look good i guess the raised lens do kind of bring the dial to the center and brings your attention to the watch of well, it is a good looking watch looks good on the wrist feels very comfortable on the wrist the size is perfect i wouldn't go any 38 millimeters looks good i think anything beyond 38 millimeters might, might be too big i would say so anything maybe 40 to 42 might be too overpowering, and then would and you just won't look too good. Yeah, you just won't look good. So, but 38 looks perfect, looks good on the wrist, and it's still very comfortable. And also, as I said before, the bubble has been signed with Vario. So, this has been the unboxing of the Vario Empire Black Chronograph dress watch. We have done a full review of the watch, and the link is in the description. Do have a read and do let us know what you think. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.